How do you respond to a diatrophies? This is how John responded. There could be 33 responses. I'm going to give you the three that are found here in the scriptures. Number one, clearly face the issue. Clearly face the issue. That's verse 9 and verse 10. I wrote to the church, he says. Then he says in verse 10, so when I, if I come, I'm going to call it to his attention what he is doing. So I've written to the church, and I'm going to meet with him face to face. I'm going to go and visit. It was clearly facing the issue is the first thing. The second thing is, in verse 11 that I just read you, he calls it what it is. Evil, evil, wrong, not right, not something that's just kind of okay, kind of bad. Evil, he calls it what it is. Number three, he widens the circle. What does he do? He doesn't shuffle it under the carpet. He doesn't hide it. He widens the circle. How does he do that? He does that by telling Gaius, who's a leader also in the church, by writing him this letter. And then Gaius is going to share this with other leaders. So he widens the circle. So sometimes the widening of that circle is a close friend that you need to share something with to be able to just say, can you help me with this? I'm wondering about God's will in my life. And something maybe have happened in your life that's so bad that you got to tell the authorities and widen the circle. And in that moment, we see that John does three things. He clearly faces the issue. He calls it what it is, which is evil and sin. And he widens the circle so that the issue could be taken care of. 